Hello, Cancer. This is your uh, April 2018 reading. Wanted to get it out before Mercury and retrograde, and things get kind of screwy with computers at that time. At least it does for me sometimes. So I want to get this out. Mercury and retrograde readings are out already. You can see them there uh, in my uh, play my playlist. And that is energies coming towards you during Mercury and retrograde. But this is just April's uh, what's going on in your life in April 2018. Cancer. What is going on in April? 2018. April 2018. Got the four of cups there. April 2018. Cancer. Won't leave that out. Just because it popped out on you. You may get an offer. You may not like the offer. Or you may offer someone something. And they may not like it. It could be also straight out boredom at times. That's when someone doesn't like something because they're bored with it. You know, or they just don't like it. That's the way I see it. Herophant could be your relationship. Maybe you're a little down on the relationship. That's a overall energy. I'm going to put this right about here so we still have it. So you got the Herophant as the overall energy. This could have to do with family ties, uh, marriage, uh, the status quo, tradition. Could be anything, but let's find out. Cancer. Could be over a night of disc. Could be over a king of swords, or knight of swords, excuse me, two knights here. Do you have two knights of shining armor? Or should I say females? Because this could be female too. We're going to regain some balance, whatever has occurred in this relationship in the end, possibly. Now, someone's bored, someone's like not, not liking what they're offered. I'm putting that out there. It has to do with the Knight of Disc and the Knight of Swords. But that doesn't tell me nothing. It just tells me there's two people there. Someone possibly with an Earth element that is a uh, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Then you got the Knight of Swords crossing it. So these could be two people having it, hashing it out with each other. Because cr it's crossing the Knight of Disc. So the Knight of Swords is uh, an air element or someone with a lot of air in their chart, possibly. And that could be a... Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Well, I need a card. I need clarifying cards for these two people because that doesn't tell me a whole lot except for someone may be in the outs with each other. Uh, I need a card for the Knight of Disc and the Knight of Swords. I need a clarifying card for the Knight of Disc and the Knight of Swords. I need clarifying cards for the Knight of Disc and the Knight of Swords for Cancer. <sighs> Queen of Cups, you. This is just telling me that some, two people are battling possibly over you or there's a big argument involving you and two other people. May I have another card that's not a person that tells me what's going on? What's going on? I need another card for the Knight of Disc, the Knight of Swords, and the Queen of Cups there. She's in the upright. Someone's not making a decision, maybe between two people. Maybe they got two offers. Maybe they just don't want to deal with it. Queen of Wands is in the past. That's a fiery element. That could be a uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's an energy she's turned around. That was in the past. That will be in the past in April. And you know what I say? Hell have no fury like the Queen of Wands reversed. And there she is again. She is in. She's coming out of being in her head. So in the past, there was some kind of fiery element for sure because you got the Queen of Wands twice. So something got her upset in the past. It got her in her head. She's kind of coming out of it, but she's still not quite there for sure because you've got the Queen of Wands reverse and the upright next to each other and the Nine of Swords reverse. So this person is still kind of going through the motions of whatever, whatever happened. Let me get one more card for the Queen of Wands. I need to know something. I'm nosy like that. Queen of Wands, why are you there? Queen of Wands, why are you there? In the past, with the Nine of Swords, why are you there? Someone's coming out of feeling left out in the cold, feeling abandoned. They were all upset about it. And it could be this fire element. But then again, you got this night and this air. And they're battling out, and you're not tr you're not trying to deal with it. I'm thinking it's just got kind of like a cluster, you know, thing cluster cluster uh, mess over going on here. 
Now, as the foundation, you got the uh, Six of Swords. It's in reverse. Six of Swords, why are you there? Six of Swords, why are you there? Six of Swords, why are you there? Now, communications are going back and forth pretty abruptly in April. No one's moving on from troubled waters, probably in this two two situation over here with this uh, uh, air and earth element. So it's still going to go on in April. You're not going to move on from them. You're not going to move on from this situation because it shows you're not making a choice. But there's going to be a lot of communication coming in. Okay, Everybody's going to want to be talking and messaging on the phone. It's going to come back and forth pretty abruptly. Someone's not moving quite on yet from the past. Remember what I said with this Queen of Wands, even though she is coming out of feeling that way, it still, it still hurts. still kind of hurts. still stings. Now, your goal is the Five of Wands. That's considered strife. It's like combative. It's like, uh, how can I say it, competition. So words are going back and forth. People are going to be saying something to each other. He says, she says, I'm right, you're right. And it sounds like you don't, over here with the two of wands, it's like you don't want to deal with it. But it looks like it's going to happen in April. You got the five of wands. And why is it the goal? Why is the five of wands the goal? Why is the five of wands the goal? goal? Five of wands, why are you the goal? Because you're going to, maybe offer something even when this is you know people are battling and saying all kind of things back and forth to each other i believe you're going to be the one that offers peace because you got the page of cups here next to the strife card and that's your element that's a water element and in the final foundation or the final outcome uh the near outcome in april there's balance there's temperance now, I need a clarification for the art card. This is also temperance and balance, keeping things together. It looks like you're going to do a good job there, Cancer. Keeping a, uh, some kind of ruckus together. It could be a, I don't think it's a family situation. I'm feeling it big time, like a family got into it possibly. Or it could be two parties, but I don't see, like, backstabbing. I don't see three of swords or anything. Yeah, there's, there's something coming around. Page of Pentacles is going to come off slowly. The Wheel of Fortune is on your side. Whatever ruckus you may have in uh, uh, April, it's going to work out for you, Cancer, because you got uh, the art card. You're balancing this, uh, this situation out. you got calmness of the mind. You're going to be offering logical situations with this Page of Pentacles. And it could be also a page of pentacles there, a younger uh, earth sign, and the wheel of fortune is in the upright. So things are looking good for uh, cancer. You're going to work this out in the end, and you're going to succeed. You are the peacekeeper. Talk to you later. Bye.